Whew. I know what you're thinking. I look exhausted. Well, I was just playing some b-ball outside. But do you know what's cooler than basketball? Video games. So how do you make a game that basketball fans can enjoy and video game fans can enjoy? <laughs> well, I know one way to not do it. Shaq Fu! If you've never heard of Shaq Fu, consider yourself blessed by the angels above. First, let's check out this ridiculous cover. Now, I don't know anything about Kung Fu, but I am positive that in no way, shape, or form, this is a Kung Fu attack. Like, what the heck is he supposed to be doing? Poking my eyes out? Huh, 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 huh. Where the producer's just like, hey, do whatever looks like Kung Fu, and Shaq's just like, okay, this looks like it, right? And what the heck is this? Enforcer of Justice? Now, when I say Enforcer of Justice, who comes to mind? Maybe Batman, maybe Superman, maybe police officers, maybe all-star basketball player Shaquille O'Neal? No! All right, well, let's slam dunk it in and give it a whirl. Oh my. I mean, do I even have to comment? I mean, just look at it. It looks ridiculous. So we find Shaq in downtown Tokyo, which is luckily filled with product placements. And Shaq is just checking out the area, you know, before his all-star charity game. Okay. So Shaq runs into the stereotypical kung fu master guy and proceeds to invite the old man to his game tonight. It's going to be quite a battle even though it's for charity. What the heck? They are really pushing this charity thing. Like, who cares? We get it. Were the producers trying to get Shaq some awesome charity deals or something? Jeez. So then the old man just tells Shaq that he has to travel through his closet to get to the second world to save some random kid that Shaq has never met before. And Shaq is just all like, eh, ball is life. Which roughly translates to, yes, I would love to go through your closet to save some random boy I've never met before. So this is pretty much where the real game begins. And as you can tell, it kind of looks like Mortal Kombat. Except, you know, with more Shaquille O'Neal and less fun. But who really cares, right? It's just a stupid video game. Anyway, so after I beat Aladdin over here, I had to go fight the Green Goblin. Tell me where the boy Nazu is before I have to beat it out of you. Okay, Shaq, um, try not to sound like a psychopath for three seconds. Weren't you just the guy that was talking up this stupid charity event? And now you're threatening to kill someone? Over some boy you didn't even know existed until 15 minutes ago, Shaq. Okay? Cool your jets. But on this level, I figured out Shaq's super secret fighting move. The, the ultra, ultra fighting, fighting, fighting fight, 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 kick, kick, repeat, kick, kick, kick thing, 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 attack, attack, attack with, with kicking, kicking, kicking attack, attack, attack thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you can tell, the ultra fighting fight, kick, repeat, kick thing, attack with kicking, attack thing really leaves my opponent defenseless as he struggles to try to land even a single punch on me. Oh, get slammed dunk, son! You know, Shaq Fu actually did teach me something that no video game has ever taught me before. And that's how to get a girlfriend. It's a little process I like to call the Shack Attract Attack Method. Let's learn, shall we? This is How to Get a Very Attractive Woman by Shaquille O'Neal. Okay, so this is how to get a girlfriend using the Shack Attract Attack process. Step 1. Be an all-star athlete in a terrible action video game. Unfortunately, this step is crucial, so if you cannot complete it, the rest of the process will fail. Step 2. Assume the target is already your girlfriend. This step is easier said than done, so let's watch how the almighty girlfriend getting king Shaquille O'Neal approaches it. Your magic can't hurt me, girlfriend! Oh, very smooth move, Shaquille O'Neal. Now at this point, the target will have one of three responses. One. Oh my goodness, you are so attractive and good at sports. 2. That's very flattering, but I already have a boyfriend who is way less attractive than you. 3. My magic has never lost a match and I'm not your girlfriend. Now let's see which one our target decides to pick. Oh, classic! 
Well, this leads us into step three of the process, which is simply titled as beat her up. Now, I know you are probably thinking that this is just some kind of code word to help you get your target, but no, I'm not sugarcoating it or anything. It means just literally beat her up for not wanting to be with you. I mean, you're pretty attractive, right? So yeah, that's basically how to get a girlfriend using the shack attract attack method. You know what? This just doesn't feel right, you know? This is kind of a sports video game, so this should be kind of a sports review, right? There's a little bit about sports. I'm Zachary Padilla. Today we got an intense fight between Shaquille O'Neal and Catwoman. Let's go down to the battlefield and see what's happening right now. All right, tonight we got Shaquille O'Neal versus Catwoman. It is going to be intense in the house tonight, yo. Uh, I like sports. Let's do this. All right, we got Shaquille O'Neal. His favorite color is green. His favorite movie is Titanic. And his favorite food to eat is breakfast. And over here, we got Catwoman, who luckily for Shaquille O'Neal, has an irrational fear of basketball players. And she also does not like the movie Grown Ups, which I cannot blame her for that, because it's a pretty bad movie. Obviously, I know a lot about sports, because I am wearing this dope headset. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, let the fight begin. Ladies and gentlemen, I have not seen anything like this before, and I have seen a lot because I am an avid viewer of sports! He is doing his kick, he is doing his favorite kick, he is kicking back and forth, back and forth, back and forth! This fight is so intense! Oh my gosh! Oh, he's going for the touchdown. He's going, oh, left, right, foul, foul! You gotta foul! I just got a report that Shaquille O'Neal is down. I repeat, Shaquille O'Neal is down. What is going to happen next? I like sports a lot and this is driving me insane! There is only one word I know that can describe that fight. Well, that's all we have for Zachary Knows a Little Bit of Sports. I'm Zachary Padilla. You have a nice night. Okay, ladies, bye. Call me. I can't take it anymore, guys. This game is terrible. I can't even get past the second world because Shaq is too big to hit his opponents. Like, how is that even fair? I just can't believe something this bad would even exist. You know what? I paid $1.95 for this game, and that is still way too much money. But what could be worse than Shaq Fu, right? I mean, it's a terrible game. Well, how about a sequel? That's right. They are currently in production of a Shaq Fu 2. I kid you not. I hate everyone that donated to make this game a possibility. Yeah, that's right, I hate 1,339 people to be exact. This game is flat out terrible. I cannot take it anymore. End of discussion.